This video gives a short introduction to BioIn. BioIn is a wastewater treatment process simulator. A simulator is a software package that ties together wastewater treatment process models. It is a tool that is used for designing, upgrading, and optimizing wastewater treatment plants. A model may consist of one or several equations that describe one or several processes. For example, here we have a process flow schematic that consists of many models, like an influent model, or a primary settling tank model for physical settling of solids. We have biological models in flow sheet elements such as bioreactors, side stream treatment reactors, and anaerobic digesters. We have chemical models, which allows us to look at the addition of chemical streams, such as caustic and methanol. The most important aspect of any wastewater treatment process simulator is its biological model, and BioIn's general activated sludge digestion model, called ASDM, is second to none. We further supplemented it with other process models, such as water chemistry modeling, which in turn allows us to model pH. The pH model feeds back into other models like oxygen transfer and the kinetics of the biological model. BioWin's model is structured to allow comprehensive whole plant simulations. The ASDM model within BioWin is owned, developed, and supported exclusively by Envirosim. It is the original whole plant model. To build a plant model, we need to import information into BioIn about plant inputs, such as loading and dynamic patterns. BioIn also requires information about the plant operating conditions, like recycle rates and control set points. We also need to input information into BioIn about the flow routing and unit sizes. Once BioIn knows this information, it can predict how the plant will respond. We can build complex wastewater process flow schematics using BioIn's easy-to-use graphical interface. BioIn offers a configure toolbar which shows graphical elements for the various unit processes you may want to include in your process flow sheet. Adding these to the drawing board is done with a few mouse clicks. Once we have the flow sheet elements we need for the plant model, we can use the pipe tool to connect these elements and specify the flow routing. The next step in constructing a model is inputting information for parameters such as flow and concentration of the influent. We need to provide information about dimensions for the various flow sheet elements so that we have the correct volumes and depths. We also need to specify operational information for flow sheet elements. For example, for this aeration tank we can input a DO set point. Perhaps there are restrictions on the amount of air that can be supplied to this aeration tank and that can be input if we like. Alternatively, we could provide information on a fixed air supply rate and have BioIn predict what the DO in the aeration tank will be as the flow and load changes throughout the day. Most operational parameters can be input as constant or time-varying patterns so that we can accurately reflect how the real plant is operated. Once we have our plant model set up in BioIn, we can run simulations which will tell us how our plant is going to perform under various flow and loading conditions or various operating scenarios. We can run steady-state simulations which will predict how the plant is going to respond under long-term average conditions. When BioIn has found a steady-state solution, we can look at how the plant is performing for various process parameters that are of interest to us. We can also run dynamic simulations which will predict how the plant is going to respond under time-varying flow, load, and operational conditions. When a dynamic simulation is running, we can focus on different plant performance parameters that are of interest to us.
In this video, we've learned that BioIn is a wastewater treatment process simulator that can be used to represent a wide variety of process flow schematics. Please check our video library for videos on how to use BioIn for different engineering objectives like designing, upgrading, and optimizing wastewater treatment plants. The library also contains short how-to tutorials that will help you increase your productivity.